A 20-year-old woman from Japan remains in jail and is charged in her baby's death. Police say she faces charges of failing to obtain assistance with the birth of her child and in concealing the infant's death. The baby was discovered by Saanich police on Monday when they were called to a home. Tonight we can tell you more about the investigation, including how the infant was discovered and how long the baby had been there. As A News reporter Stephen Andrews shows us tonight, police are having a tough time with the case. Saanich police say the people who live in this Saanich home are not talking, and the people want reporters to stay away. Investigators have been at the home for the past three days, investigating the death of a baby. Investigators believe the baby was born on September the 17th. They say 10 days later, someone inside the home called the non-emergency police number. When the first officer arrived, he found the child in a plastic bag. Critical to this investigation is to understand why and to try and answer uh, some of the questions uh, as to um, why there was a delay and how come this has happened in, in, in the way that it has. Police say a Japanese woman, a tenant living in the home, is charged with failing to obtain assistance with the birth of her baby and concealing the infant's death. 20-year-old Narume Bito remains in jail, waiting for her first court appearance tomorrow. Investigators say they want Bito to remain in custody to give them time to gather more evidence. The case is raising more questions than answers. A preliminary autopsy revealed no immediate indication as to how the infant died. As investigators go over the evidence, the case is taking an emotional toll. Not only on our, our community and our citizens, but also on our investigators and everybody involved in this investigation. We too are residents in this community and we are raising families here. Investigators expect it could take days, weeks, months before pathologists determine an exact cause of death. They acknowledge even then the results may not be conclusive. Until then, a number of lives are on hold. The baby's mother and the people who live in the home where this tragedy began. Unwelcome attention on what until Monday was a quiet neighborhood. In Saanich, Stephen Andrew, A News.